Today's Sunday, August 21st. We're on our 41st week and one day, which is the average for a first time mom to deliver. So uh, I guess that was my new due date, but no baby. Last night I woke up around 2 a.m. and uh, just had a little bit of a nervous breakdown. I think a lot of it's the fact that I had had contractions on Friday night and so I thought that, you know, they may resume back Saturday night and I wasn't feeling anything. So I got a little emotional, woke up Tyler <laughs> and, uh, you know, luckily he comforted me and I got back to sleep and ended up having a really good night's sleep after that. When Courtney woke me up this morning uh, in the middle of the night, um, I wasn't too, too surprised. I mean, we're kind of close to the breaking point of uh, Max coming to us and it's a pretty emotional time and um, she can be pretty worrisome and think things are awful when they're not. Uh, that's not the first time we've had anything like that, but it's completely understandable uh, at the point that she is in the pregnancy. Uh, I'm sure it's kind of tough to deal with things, and um, I just did what I could and just tried to make it a little more comforting and uh, make, let her know that things are okay. Maybe I needed that breakdown um, to get a good night's sleep uh, for what's to come ahead later this week, but... Um... It was uh, bound to happen, I guess. This process isn't meant to be uh, an easy one, uh, and it's certainly not. Uh, there's lots of difficulties uh, dealing with what we're dealing with. Um, it's not all fun and games. I mean, it mostly is, but um, there's some trying times, and I, I think we're going to push through it just fine. This morning, after the breakdown, I decided that it'd probably be smart for me to contact our doula and just sort of get her perspective on where I stood and my emotions and how things were progressing in our labor. Um, I hadn't talked to her since we had contractions on Friday night. So I thought that that would be a smart idea just sort of to tell her that we had had some contractions. I didn't contact her because I knew that they were just um, some pre-labor situations, but that I sort of expected to have some more on Saturday night. And she reassured me that, you know, sometimes labor is like an old car where it takes two to three times to crank it. And once it's cranked, it'll go, but you know, it's not, it's not something that just happens automatically. So to, her reassurance was good and um, she definitely uh, reaffirmed what Tyler had done the night before um, when I had my breakdown. After Courtney spoke with our doula, uh, things were a lot better. Um, I could sit there and tell her everything's okay but, I mean, I wouldn't believe me either because I don't know anything about it. Uh, going to someone who has that experience, uh, being able to comfort someone for good reason, uh, it's completely different. So here we are midday. Um, everything's a lot better, a lot more comforting. We adjusted our doctor's appointment, uh, and everything's going a lot better. Per the recommendation of our doula, she told me to just enjoy the day. She said that, you know, maybe I was just overreacting because I'm just sitting around the house and all I have to do is dwell on the fact that I'm just waiting for this baby to come. So she told me to get out of the house a little bit, stretch my legs, um, and maybe go see a movie or have dinner with my husband and just enjoy um, some time with him alone. And uh, I think we're going to take a recommendation and go out to dinner tonight, which I'm really excited about. One of the other things that the doula recommended was actually moving our doctor's appointment from Wednesday to Monday. Um, so we're going to call our doctor tomorrow morning and see if we can get in and see him and just see if we have made any progress. She thought that that may help my psyche a little bit just to sort of see where I stood um, after being at 41 weeks. She thinks that, you know, after 41 weeks, I would have made a lot of progress since last Wednesday and that maybe talking to my doctor will help me also emotionally. Uh, push through this last week. Today I went out with the moms and we went uh, shopping at the container store. My mom needed to pick up uh, an item that she saw in my laundry room that she had to have, a drying rack, <laughs> nothing fancy. And uh, I thought it would be a good opportunity to find some fun things to put out in our new grill area um, for organization of our barbecue tools and different items like that. The girls went out shopping and Courtney was moving around uh, just like the doula asked her to, and uh, we actually finished, you know, I keep saying we finished things, but uh, we actually finished pretty much everything we have to do outside. We came up with all the little projects we could, 
uh, in these, this extra week that we were given and uh, took advantage of it and finished the rain barrel. Uh, we got the, uh, the spigot for it and cut the hole in the top, all that good stuff. So it's all, it's all now functional for the gutter guys to come and just lay their downspout in. Um, and we got some mulch and finished off the last little bit of bushes that we had. So it's been a very productive day. While we were out, I also made the mom stop and get some yogurt. Every pregnant woman needs some frozen yogurt. I put, I put fruit on mine. Be healthy. As we've been talking about, our parents are here, so they're constantly asking me for things that they can do as I'm laying on the couch. So uh, we've been scraping the bottom of the barrel trying to find things for them. Uh, Kathy helped me reorganize my pantry, if that tells you where we stand with having to uh, get parents our help, have our parents help us. But uh, this morning, my mom opened my uh, bottles and breast pumps and cleaned those out and sterilized them for me and uh, cleaned out a cabinet in our kitchen and she's going to organize those for us and get it ready to go so that when Max does come home um, I don't have to fool with cleaning and getting that all ready when I'm ready to um, use the breast pump. Uh, after this interview I'm going to go get all cleaned up, actually do my hair. I haven't done that in about two weeks. It's just been over 100 degrees so pulling out the blow dryer has not been my priority. So uh, going to do that, put on makeup, look good for my husband for our last dinner out in a while. So I'm excited. Really excited to be able to just go out with me and Courtney. Um, we thought we had done this before. Uh, it was going to be our final dinner. Uh, but uh, here we are again, um, a week overdue, and we get another opportunity. So we're going to take advantage, uh, go out to dinner, and uh, just enjoy the night. Today I felt good. Um, definitely drained this morning after my little meltdown, but uh, had some energy after talking with the doula and the fact that we're going to move the doctor's appointment to tomorrow that made me feel a little bit more comfortable in today and sort of relaxed in regards to uh, what I'm feeling. Max is moving, but uh, no contractions, but uh, we have a healthy boy. That's all that matters, and he's moving around right now as we speak, so... I'm not too worried about Courtney's uh, contractions or lack thereof. Um, I mean, it you know it happens. It's it's not all going to happen all at once. So I think it's you know a slow start seems normal to me. But then again, I've never been pregnant. 